Reporting on June 17, 2023, a 20-year-old Russian national named Ruslan Astemirov has been arrested for his involvement in the Lockbit ransomware attacks. He allegedly targeted victims worldwide from August 2020 to March 2023, executing at least five attacks. Law enforcement traced a ransom payment to Astemirov, leading to his arrest. This is the second arrest of a Russian national associated with Lockbit in the past six months. If convicted, Astemirov could face up to 20 years in prison and a significant fine. Lockbit ransomware, linked to Russia, has conducted over 1,400 attacks globally, demanding over $100 million in ransom payments. The Lockbit gang is considered a major cybersecurity threat, accounting for 16% of attacks on U.S. public entities in 2022. Reporting on June 17, 2023, New Zealand-based payment solutions provider SmartPay Holdings experienced a ransomware attack last week. The company has conducted an investigation and confirmed that customer information from Australia and New Zealand was stolen from its systems. SmartPay has enlisted the services of cybersecurity specialist CyberCX and is cooperating with the government in addressing the incident. SmartPay's shares traded 0.3% lower following the news. In the fiscal year 2022, the company processed over 78 million transactions valued at 2.7 billion New Zealand dollars, 1.68 billion dollars, marking an almost 80% increase from the previous year. This ransomware attack adds to a series of cyber attacks that have targeted various companies in Australia and New Zealand over the past 10 months, with Medibank Private Limited and Singtel's Optus among the most heavily affected. Reporting on June 20, 2023, Reddit, the social media platform, has been threatened by the Black Cat Alf B ransomware group. Reddit has confirmed that these claims are linked to a security incident in February, where hackers accessed internal systems through a phishing campaign. The hackers claim to possess 80 gigabytes of stolen data, which they will release if a ransom of $4.5 million is not paid. Additionally, the group demands that Reddit cease charging third parties for API usage. The compromised information primarily included limited Reddit code, employee contact details, and some advertiser data. The ransomware group alleges that Reddit ignored their previous attempts to communicate. It is uncertain whether Reddit intends to pay the ransom. The Black Cat Alf V group is associated with the Darkside ransomware group, known for the Colonial Pipeline cyberattack and Casepoint and NCR. The city of Fayetteville, Arkansas is currently dealing with a suspected cyber incident, causing most of its digital municipal services to be taken offline. Essential services like police, fire, and emergency services remain unaffected. The city's Information Technology Department is actively addressing the issue, but online services are expected to be unavailable for a few days. Utility bill payments must be made in person with cash or check, and virtual attendance for public meetings is not possible due to the outage. Fayetteville has hired three cybersecurity firms to assist with the incident. This cyber attack follows a trend of similar incidents in other U.S. cities throughout 2023, resulting in service disruptions and the compromise of resident information. Reporting on June 20, 2023. The European Investment Bank, IFE, and the European Investment Fund, EIF, have experienced a cyber attack, causing the EIB's website to go offline while the EIF's site remains accessible with a different appearance. The IFE, which provides loans within the European Union, confirmed the attack and is working to address the situation. Last year, Luxembourg's main energy supplier, Encevo, faced a similar cyber attack where hackers published client data on the dark web. The hackers responsible for the IBE attack, known as the Black Cat Group, previously targeted Encevo and threatened to release stolen data from Italy's GSE Energy Agency. The IBE is a vital financial institution, employing over 3,000 people and issuing billions of euros in loans annually. A state-sponsored espionage campaign has been using new custom malware to monitor remote desktop protocol RDP, connections and infect connecting clients with a backdoor according to cybersecurity firm Bitdefender. The campaign, likely linked to threat actors based in China, began in early 2022 and involves two custom tools written in the Go programming language. The malware, known as RD Stealer, 
captures data from infected machines and has a unique capability to infect RDP clients with Client Drive Mapping CDM, enabled. It deploys a backdoor called Logitel, which evades detection using DLL side loading techniques. The backdoor establishes persistence, communicates with a command and control server, and executes various commands. This campaign represents a shift from off-the-shelf malware to custom tools and highlights the ongoing threat of state-sponsored cyber espionage. Reporting on June 23, 2023, Capital One has confirmed that it was affected by a cyber attack on NCB Management Services, a company that purchases debt. Over 16,500 Capital One customers had their personal information leaked, including addresses, social security numbers, and account details. The affected individuals were offered two years of free identity monitoring services and identity theft restoration. The breach notification letters were filed by Capital One with regulators in Maine and Texas. NCB had ignored cybersecurity concerns prior to the attack. The breach affected nearly 1.5 million individuals, exposing sensitive financial data. But no ransomware group has claimed responsibility. A consumer rights law firm has filed a class action lawsuit on behalf of victims whose Bank of America credit card information was accessed. 